Hello guys, I am Arvin and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss the library that is Google Translator and I am going to use this library uh, for making machine translation easier. So let's get started guys. So in data science, machine translation has grown in importance as a research area. It is essential for international communication since it removes linguistic barriers across a range of fields. It helps language learners and increases access to a variety of scholarly resources in the field of education. However, different languages are subjective and might have sarcasm and hidden meanings. Machine translation is one of the most difficult tasks in natural language processing. Google has done a lot of research in this area and developed some excellent cutting edge machine learning models that are useful for our everyday jobs. Now to solve these problems, we are going to use this Google Trans library to make machine translation easier. So let's discuss about this Google Trans library. So Google Trans library is a free Python package and is used to implement the Google Translate API. This calls functions like detect and translate using the Google Translate Ajax API. Python 3.6 plus is compatible with it. It can detect languages as well as translate from one language to another very efficiently. Since it is free, it needs no configuration or authentication. It has a language detection feature as well, which is missing in other libraries. The output also has additional information like the score in confidence or the probable errors. Now we are going to discuss some features about this Google Trans library. So the first feature is fast and reliable. It uses the same servers that translate.google.com uses. The second feature is auto language detection. Third one is bulk translations and the fourth one is customizable service URL and the fourth one is connection pooling. So the advantage of using request to session is connection pooling. Now the next feature is HTTP or HTTP2 support. Now guys we are going to note few observations related to this library. The maximum character limit on a single text is 15k. Due to limitations of the web version of Google Translate, this API does not guarantee that the library would work properly at all times. So please use this library if you don't care about stability. If you want to use a stable API, I highly recommend you to use Google's official Translate API. And if you are getting the error like HTTP 5xx errors or error, like 6, it is probably because Google has banned your client IP address. Now we are going to discuss the information about license of this Google Trans library. So Google Trans library is licensed under the MIT license. Now we are going to install this library. So guys, as you can see here, we are going to execute this specific command to install this Google Trans library and that is pip install google trans equals to equals to 3.1.0 a0 and by this command we can install this google trans library on our system and we are going to install the specific version of this google trans library that is 3.1.0 a0 now guys let me open up my uh, console so here I am going to run this command pip install google trans equals to equals to 3.1.0 a0 and hit enter. Now as you can see here it is going to install this particular library on our system. Sorry, I have done mistake guys, the spelling mistake. So uh, guys, I have already installed this library. That's why I'm getting this message. Otherwise, this library will be installed on your system. 
Now guys, let me open up my Jupyter Notebook. First of all guys, I am going to import this class from this Google Trans uh, module. So from Google Trans import and translator. So we are going to execute this script. Then let's create an object of this translator class. After creating this object, I am going to use or create one more variable, let's say translation. And by using this translator object, I am going to access uh, the translate method here. And now in this translate method, I am going to pass one uh, Hindi string or Hindi statement here. So let me copy this statement. And now I'm going to copy it here. Now guys, as you can see here, uh, I'm going to convert this Hindi statement into English. And by default, I'm not passing any extra parameter here. So now I'm going to execute it. So now I'm going to print the output. So how can I print this? Obviously we are going to use this print. And now let's use translation.text. So guys, as you can see here, my this statement was Mera Naam Arvind Hai or Mera YouTube channel Arvind Kharwal Hai. Now the output is my name is Arvind and my YouTube channel is Arvind Kharwal. Now guys, we can print this statement without using text. So let me copy this script and let's paste it here. Now if I try to print it or execute it simply I am getting this output and if you are using this translation without using this text so as you can see here we are getting uh, these parameters here so this is source language that is high it means not high it is Hindi HI and this is the destination language this is in English so it is represented by EN and this is a text now we are actually getting one more option here pronunciation and the extra data so guys if you want to change uh, from this language to some other language so initially we have converted this hindi hindi statement into english and we can actually use uh, one more uh, parameter here so uh, let's say we are going to convert this hindi statement into some other language let's say i am going to convert this uh, hindi language into let's say telugu so let me use uh, this another parameter here and so first of all let me copy this statement and here I am going to use one more parameter that is destination or dest so here I am going to use TE uh, this is for Telugu so how can we actually get these uh, values so obviously you need to actually open this link and we uh, then you will get all the information about the languages so guys as you can see here these are the uh, short names for these particular languages so here i am going to use uh, telugu t for telugu so let me open this so here uh, we are going to use t now uh, let's execute this and let's print this one and run this now guys this is the uh, basically the statement or output in this telugu language uh, frankly speaking guys i don't know uh, this telugu language if someone knows about this language please comment uh, comment in my comment section whether it is correct or not right now guys uh, we can also actually do one more thing here we can also perform batch processing with this library so how can we do this so let's say guys i am going to create one list here and in this list uh, let's pass uh, let's say uh, my this is the first element of this list 
and name and the next one is let's use one more is this now guys let's pass this list in this translation method sorry translate method and pass this l here this list here now obviously I, we are going to use for loop here to print uh, these uh, words here and here uh, we are going to pass one more parameter here let's say i'm going to use uh, hi this is hindi okay so we are going to convert this uh, these names of these words in Hindi. Now let's use for loop here, guys. For i in and translation, and here I am going to use a print statement here. And in this print statement, I am going to use uh, origin. Then let's use the arrow operator, and then let's use i dot text. And if I try to execute this, simply I am getting uh, Mera for my, Naam for name, Hai for is and Arvin Arvin. So guys, as you can see here, uh, we can actually use batch processing here with this library. Now guys, we can also use detect method to detect any language. So let me use this statement. Let me copy this statement. And here I am going to use detect method here instead of translate let's use detect here and i'm going to remove this one from this string now i'm going to remove this one also now uh, let's execute this and now we are going to print translation now if I try to execute this, simply we are actually getting uh, this output. So it is actually printing language is Hindi and the confidence is 1. Now guys, we can also do one more thing here. We can also use multiple options here or multiple values in the list form. So let me use uh, one more list here. Let's say L1 and here I am going to use let's say let's use this one Arun Kharwal the first string and let's use one more uh, let's say Google Trans Live now here uh, let's use this detect method and here i'm going to pass this list l1 now obviously here we are going to use for loop for i in uh, this is a label in translation now i here i'm going to use this print and here now I am going to use i dot lang. Let's use this column and then use i dot confidence. Now we are going to execute it. So now, guys, as you can see here, for uh, this particular name, Arvind Kharwal, we are actually getting confidence 0 0.8052797. And for this language Google Trans library, we are actually getting the confidence 1. And the language is EN, stands for, this stands for English. So guys, uh, I hope you understood this one. And thank you so much guys for watching this video. And if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. Thank you so much guys once again.